I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The number one skill you need to overcome challenges in life is commitment. You have to have the guts to commit. You have to be willing to choose the pain of discipline over the pain of regret. It takes commitment and it takes focus and it takes hard work. But if you fully commit yourself, you can be the best in the world at what you do. I'm proof that this attitude and this way of being can succeed. I was never the fastest or the strongest or the tallest. I wasn't born with the body of an NFL athlete. As I explained in my book, there's no plan B for your A game. I was the runt of the litter. The first time I ever played tackle football, the first day of practice, they weighed and measured us for the game program. I was a freshman in high school, five feet tall, 100 pounds, and by the look on the coach's face, it was clear I was not football material. My dad picked me up after practice, and I told him, Dad, hey, they weighed and they measured us uh, for the game program, and the coach thinks I'm too small to play. Without skipping a beat, my dad said, did they measure your heart, goddammit? I told my dad my school doesn't even have one of those heart measuring things. And then my dad told me a story about a little puppy. He was a ranch hand on his uncle's cattle ranch and they would use a dog to help him herd the cattle. Well, the dog was amazing. The dog could do the work of 10 men and he was always one step ahead of the herd. The ranch literally could not survive without this dog. When the ranch dog gets too old and it loses a step, they breed it with another rancher's dog, my dad said. And then when the puppies are born, the rancher takes the smallest puppy, the runt of the litter, and they tie a little piece of yarn around its neck and then they watch that puppy very carefully for the next 12 weeks. After the 12 weeks goes by, the rancher takes all of the puppies except for the runt, and he gets rid of them. The runt of the litter is the new working dog on the ranch. Bo, the runt always has to work harder to survive against its bigger brothers and sisters, always. The runt becomes the smartest, the fastest, the most determined. Of all those puppies, the runt's heart is the biggest. The rancher stakes his whole livelihood on that fact. You bet on the runt every time, goddammit. I'm the youngest of six kids, so I knew my place. I was the runt. I had to work harder than anyone else, and that's exactly what I did. I made that dog story my story, and I've been telling myself that story ever since. That story helped me develop the stamina to keep going after what I wanted most in life. And it led to every success that I've ever had. And in my book, There's No Plan B for Your A Game, I show you how to develop that kind of stamina too. Let me ask you, what would your life look like if you gave everything you have all the time? What would your life look like if you showed up in that way? How profound would the changes be if you brought that kind of heart to your marriage, your parenting, your friendships, your business? I guarantee you that when you look back over a life lived with that kind of commitment, you'll realize that you were the best, goddammit. I can't imagine living any other way.